So I'll just quit it over here. I'll open my Cal Linux, perfect. So I'll just type the harvester D and over here will be the URL. So I'll just type google.com L 300 B Google and I'll just hit enter. So what you could see over here is that it's searching all the results on Google and there were no emails found with this uh, on this website. So the, uh, what it shows is, is that uh, minus D over here thing that I wrote uh, minus D uh, will be the remote site from which you want to fetch the juicy information. I will limit the search for specified number for us it would be 300 and uh, minus L over here will be the limit for the search specified by the number that is this one and minus B will be the search engine that I use. So from the above information of email address you can go and identify the pattern of email addresses assigned to employees of organization. As of Google it's quite secure so it won't show you anything but let me try something else. Let me go ahead and use a different website. I have one more thing in place. So I'll have let's say 6th startech.com and let's check if we get any results okay so I'm not getting any result uh, maybe even this has uh, got way too secure so uh, but yes this is how it works and you can go ahead and find out any information that, uh, you want through this so from the above information I can go ahead and show you all of these things the command will grab the information I'll also show you one more thing instead of that I'll just type all the harvester hyphen D6 static L B all perfect. So what it would do, it would uh, go ahead and search on all the search engines, and it will give me back the result. This command will grab from multiple search engines, and as you can see, that first it was searching only through Google, and now it is searching even through Bing. So to save the result, just go ahead and put a hyphen F parameter as shown in the example. I'll just go ahead and show you. Okay, so there were no email IDs found for over here. I'll just and just in case all and I'll type hyphen F and I'll type pen test. So just in case you go ahead and find any email IDs over there you can just go ahead and type it over here like this and it will be saved in the pen test directory and hyphen F means that yeah, you are asking you to save it in a specific folder. Uh, as you can see uh, it was error creating file because there was no nothing found but let me see if the file was created or not so I just need home view tree okay perfect okay as you can see we have a pen text HTML and yes there is nothing over here as of now because we are not able to find any information let's check some websites if I get any good website then I'll surely go ahead and uh, let me think Microsoft and I'll go ahead and search the same for Microsoft.com because probably the or I'll type let's say I don't know whether it will work or not just let's check let's try to harvest some results and I'll open another one I'll do it and type the same thing So let's go ahead and try our commands once more and I'll type Google this time. So let's check whether we get any information. I should probably get perfect. So as you can see that I uh, previously with my internet was uh, down so that's the reason I did not get anything and you can see that I only searched this in Google and I got these many email IDs from that so it's quite easy for you to understand that what would be the email IDs and uh, what uh, they could give things out so let's go ahead and check for google.com if you are able to get anything for Google so if just in case if you get any uh, results from Google uh, that uh, XYZ at the red uh, blah 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 and you get that uh, any fake email ID and you want to search whether the email that you receive because sometimes some attack what attackers what they do is that they if you have an organization and they, then they go ahead and send the email 
to an employee of your organization stating that this is from the IT department and we are asking you to go ahead and log in at the following terminal and this is the google.com and this is your gmail id so just log in and so you need to know that whether the email came from the right party from the same google.com or somewhere else so you at that point of time you can go ahead and check the host and the domain over here and uh, these are the two emails found over here and these were the host IPs for each and everything and you can go ahead and gather information and it will be much easier for you to identify whether the person who sent you the email is the right uh, party or not. You even have the, have the IP address from where uh, the uh, these emails get sent so you don't need to worry about the IP addresses just in case your IP the mail that you received was a fake one you can also go ahead and easily trace it since you will already be, uh, also be having the IP address. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be starting with the who is and the DNS mapping and stuff. So that's it for the harvester.